you know, you can use it as a red attack mix up. Yeah, so there's not too much they can do. They're not going to instantly be attacking you or blocking anything you do. So a lot of the time, on block, I usually do that as well. Obviously, there's some gaps here that if the opponent's respecting you, you can go into this on block, and then it breaks their guard, and then you get to go in for your full combo. And yeah, and as you can see, it has a really good distance. So a lot of the time, I use this red attack like all the time over my other red attack. It's so good, it leads into a combo. It does more damage than the other red attack. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you get he does his plus ultra. So if I do a combo like this, and the main way you're going to be comboing into it is just from his regular attack string, because then it connects most consistently. You're getting 12,000 damage, which is a big chunk of damage, and it's unbreakable, and you've just gotten about five or 7,000 damage back which basically like removes a small combo that the opponent has done on you. So um, the same can be said if he, he can decide to not jump into the air and instead he goes to where the opponent's going to land and then you do the tilt quirk too, I mean the regular quirk too and then it catches them trying to go into the ground or press any buttons. But a lot of the time there isn't actually a need to do the dash cancel so if I jump, just jump forwards because they get launched behind me and then I have huge distance they're in the air, so then they can't block these crazy tracking projectiles. So I'm almost guaranteed to get... After this 6,000 damage, I'm almost guaranteed to get this projectile, which can usually do like 5,000 damage. Uh, depending on how, how it hits the opponent. And then you've gotten like 11,000 damage without a dash cancel, which is pretty crazy. So, yeah. Jump around, make sure you you know you can do different setups. Sometimes that move even wall splats like you just saw then. So you can go in for the thing again, and then you've just gotten tons of damage if they get hit by this again. Then you've gotten so much damage without dash cancels just because you've been like doing resets. Twelve thousand damage just because you did an unblockable mix-up with Rafa. Do some of these like fancy things. So if I'm going like, I think this works. Yeah. So if you use your tilt work one at the end of any combo in the air, you're probably going to be able to confirm into his plus ultra too for some really high decent damage. Scream is so stupid. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say um, for Overhaul version 2. We can go into his combos. So, um, actually I'll quickly show his plus ultra 1. And it is a pretty interesting plus ultra 1. So it does a little bit below average damage, or actually quite a bit below average damage. Some plus ultras do 10,000 or 7,000 damage, whereas his only does 6,000. But damage isn't where it prevails. As you saw, he had like these green effects happening on him. And I'm not sure if I can take my health down. Um, but essentially, um, it heals him. It heals him like, I don't know, for about 500 or 5,000 damage. So about the chunk of, um, if you see the letters of plus ultra, it probably is the LTRA amount of health. So it's a decent amount of regeneration after he does his plus ultra. So if I do a combo like this, and the main way you're going to be comboing into it is just from his regular attack string, because then it connects most consistently. You're getting 12,000 damage, which is a big chunk of damage, and it's unbreakable, and you've just gotten about five or 7,000 damage back which basically like removes a small combo that the opponent has done on you. So it's really good for that, I really like it for um for comebacks. And it's the only move like this in the game, I don't know if anything else that heals you in the game. There's no recovery girl here. So yeah, if you're like really low on health and you want to make a comeback, a lot of the time I'll cancel into this earlier than I normally would, just to make sure I get 
gives you a big chunk of damage and brings you life back. So it's like the perfect comeback recipe, giving you some more life and taking away a lot of theirs. Like if they have support, you can cancel it early, and you're still gonna get it and it's a decent chunk of damage. Um, you might see people doing trying to do some fancy combos like something like this. Because you can cancel it after the tilt work one in the air because it brings you down to the ground. But I find a lot of the time it's not that reliable and you end up getting a lot less damage than if you just did a regular attack string. Like even if I do something like a lot of the time I found <laughs> in going into training mode, the best way of comboing into it is just by doing your regular attack string. None of these fancy combos into stuff. See, like, it can do good damage, but if you're gonna combo into it... Yeah, a lot of the time. And then there's that Meteor Blow as well. So, yeah, it's just not that reliable. Do a regular attack string, and you're getting, like, 11,000 damage. Don't complain. And you're healing. But anyways, now let's get into his combos. So... Version 2 Overhaul isn't crazy combo heavy, as you can expect since he is such a good Zona, and he has other really good tools, but he still has really good combos like this bread and butter that I already showed you. Does uh, 9,800, so nearly 10,000 damage. So he is very, very acceptable damage, that's about, you know, average, maybe a little bit above, for a single dash cancel, and that's really good. And it ends in a Meteor Blow, which is really good for him because a lot of his moves are quite slow, that means you can, like, jump away, Gives him time to like make space, get up his projectiles, start zoning the opponent out, and just being the nuisance that everyone loves to fight against online. So the combo is four hits into tilt quirk one, dash cancel, three hits into armor move, into tilt quirk one again, you'll end in a meteor blow. Either the opponent will be like stuck in the corner with you, and that's actually really good if the opponent's stuck in the corner with you, because then because then you can like put up your traps and there's nowhere for them to go. But it's also really good if they get launched far away, because then you have the opportunity... <laughs> I should have walked away a little bit before I start this, because then you're in this like weird area where some of it isn't going to hit and some of it isn't. But even if it does the Meteor Blow and then... And you've gotten a Meteor Blow at the end of the combo and they've like launched far away, because that's what happens most of the time, unless I'm demonstrating. <laughs> Of course it isn't gonna happen now, but a lot of the time they like bounce off of the wall and then they end up really far away so you can start up your projectiles like that or they're sent far away so you can start this one and like jump into the air and get into the perfect like angle to throw this at your opponent and then obviously from there you can go into that and then you dash up, you know, do something else, do this one again and then this, and then down, get down onto the ground with this, and then while they're on the ground for a bit, you can start up this move, and it's just, he's, he's a big snowball effect character, he, if he gets the right hits and he does the right stuff, he can go into the combos, he doesn't even need to do a reset. Anyways, um, yeah, so if you're not doing this bread and butter combo, so yeah, bread and butter combo, something like this, that does the most damage. Extending it actually makes it do less damage, like if you try to add in yellow attacks or something, it makes it less damage. That's the most damage he can get, I'm pretty sure. It's all I've found. Um, but a lot of the time you're not actually, like if you don't want to, you don't have to spend a dash cancel to get his good damage. So, and if you're not, oops, <laughs> if you're not gonna do a dash cancel, I would suggest putting in the yellow attack here, then you get a little bit more damage. A lot of the time I just jump into the air and do this move, and then do like this move, and then, he, yeah, like a lot of the time there isn't actually a need to do the dash cancel. So if I jump, just jump forwards because they get launched behind me, and then I have huge distance. They're in the air, so then they can't block these crazy tracking projectiles. So I'm almost guaranteed to get after this 6,000 damage, I'm almost guaranteed to get this projectile, which can usually do like 5,000 damage, uh, depending on how, how it hits the opponent. And then you've gotten like 11,000 damage without a dash cancel, which is pretty crazy. So, yeah. Jump around, make sure you, you know, you can do different setups. Sometimes that move even wall splats like you just saw then. So you can go in for the thing again, 
and then you've just gotten tons of damage if they get hit by this again. Then you've gotten so much damage without dash cancels just because you've been like doing resets off of the regular combo string instead of doing a dash cancel. So really strong stuff from Overhaul. Um, the same can be said if he, he can decide to not jump into the air and instead he goes to where the opponent's going to land and then you do the tilt quirk too, I mean the regular quirk too and then it catches them trying to go into the ground or press any buttons because the quirk too, as I explained before, it does a ton of hits it has, it's just, it has crazy tracking, oh, unless you're like right here looking at it but yeah, it's a crazy move. If they're in the air, they have to just guard in order to get out of the way of it. Or maybe they try and do some like lo a lot of dashes in order to like escape from it. But a lot of the time, they're not going to be able to escape from this damage. And then you're taking an extra five thousand or six thousand damage just because they didn't manage to um, escape your fake combo correctly. So yeah, very strong stuff. Even if they're not real combos, you can get tons of damage with Overhaul. And obviously all of his combos, the damage can be increased if you add this red attack at the beginning. Um, sometimes you have to reduce the combo a little bit by like removing yellow attacks or something, because the meaty blow will happen earlier. And then yeah, you're, you're getting big damage, 11,000 just for getting a red attack that tracks the opponent like literally to hell and goes across the screen and obviously you can do it like using your supports as you the unblockable mix-ups that everyone loves to use online and then yeah that was gonna be a lot of damage if I didn't mess it up oops, oops. Twelve thousand damage just because you did an unblockable mix up with Rapa, and Rapa was nearly back at the end, so it's like you didn't even use him. Um, I've got regular Shigaraki in here as well, just because you know, having more screen control if I dash up and put him out, I can get combos that way. Or no, I can't. <laughs> But a lot of the time I, you know, dash around and put Shig Shigaraki's puddle on the ground. If I see him get hit by it, you can get a combo from it. Or, you know, just put it out, control the screen, be scary. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's about all I have for his combos. If I'm comboing into the plus ultra one, usually I'll do, like if I get that red attack, I just do his full attack string into the plus ultra one. This applies for plus ultra two as well. And there you go, 12,500 damage, and I've just taken, um gained a lot of health back, I've healed a lot, so it's worth a lot more than 12,500 damage. It's really, really good combo. Um, if you're gonna do your plus ultra 2, that's where you can actually do some of these like fancy things, so if I'm going like... I think this works. Yeah. So if you use your tilt work 1 at the end of any combo in the air, you're probably going to be able to confirm into his plus ultra, too. For some really high, decent damage. Oh god, that scream is so stupid. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say um, for Overhaul version 2, which I, I just realized I have been talking about him for a while. But yeah, you can also get like combos off of this move, you know, obviously if you do dash cancels. But I think where he excels is not in doing combos, obviously, since he's such a zoning character. He can obviously get good damage, he has a 10,000 damage combo that's super easy. So if you do want to end out the round and just like be sure and your opponent doesn't have supports, you can take the assured damage. So it's good that he has access to that, but he also has access to these amazing projectiles that he can use as resets in his combos. He can like link them into each other like this. And then, yeah, they have crazy tracking, there's no way for the opponent to escape. And basically, the opponent's just gonna be, like, really scared to fight you. If you're better than me, you can actually combo off of his work 2 or whatever, but I haven't really practiced with that. But yeah, he's a really strong character, he's very unique, I like that... Uh, I'm sorry for saying that I like him, but I do, I enjoy playing as him. Because he's very slow, and he has really interesting projectiles, like, even though they're annoying and they track a lot, and they're hard to counter. 
he can be quite slow. So a lot of the time, how you beat version 2 overhaul is you just go gung-ho, run in, do armor moves or whatever. You just need to keep attacking him. Don't give him time to start this crazy attack or anything like this. Anyways, guys, that's about all I have to say for version 2 overhaul. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!